Welcome back to Play the R A R, your source for mixed reality, augmented reality, and virtual reality news. And now we have a little Christmas present for you. Yes, I know you guys are excited about getting your brand new Meta Quest 3. And in the coming months, Meta will drop a nice Christmas present on you. That's right. We're talking about inside out body tracking. For those who are new to the VR scene, inside out tracking means that the device uses built in cameras to track your movements. No external sensors are needed, but the Quest 3 is taking it up a notch with body tracking as well. That's right, folks. This bad boy is going to track more than just your hands. We need to be tracking Will Smith's hands, all right? Keep your neck. All right, anyway. But with the MetaQuest 3, we know that it does have a sensor, uh, not a camera. Uh, the third one is the sensor in the middle, and this helps out with the inside-out body tracking. Now, the Quest 3 will initially focus on this, giving you more immersive experience in social VR spaces and games. So, of course, we know Horizon Worlds, the staple, the social staple, man, where people really complain about being a floating torso uh, going around Horizon Worlds, and they really, really wanted to see legs, all right? So uh, we definitely have it in the home space as well as Horizon Worlds, which, if you think about it, that's the most important thing, one of the most important things to start off with. You know, you want to be able to get people in Horizon Worlds, enjoy the new game experiences as well, and be able to see those legs because that was the first place that people complained about not having legs. No other experience that was out there, uh, but Horizon Worlds was the first thing people complained about. And Meta started working on this ever since the initial Horizon Worlds came out. So I think, okay, well, we heard the feedback. Let's start working on legs. So they've been doing this research on these legs and inside out body tracking. So of course, they came up with a way to figure it out. Because in the days of AI that we're all living in, they came up with AI generative legs. That's right. Now, that's where it gets wilder. Yes, they are planning to introduce AI generative legs. And these legs, this is so funny, will release in December. So before Santa Claus takes his fat ass down the chimney, you will have the release of AI generative legs. And of course, the inside out body tracking helps track your body's movement. You can lean with it. You can rock with it. You can swag surf. Uh, that's going to be fun as well um, to track all of that and just kind of see your legs kind of moving. Now, will they do everything that your legs do? No, they won't. But look, baby steps. Now you're going to have be able to see your legs. Like, okay, we have legs. All right. Now let's work on getting these legs to do everything that we want our legs to do. And I definitely want to dance in VR, man. So that's going to be fun. And of course, this update will come in, I think, uh, more so with the uh, V58. Don't quote me on that. Once again, these are all speculations. This is not official word until I start leaking stuff on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter at PlayVRAR. Now, you know, that'll be great. Of course, I'm thinking about games and experiences outside of Horizon Worlds. Um, I love doing Les Mills Body Combat, of course, because I am a huge fan of MMA and the UFC. And of course, uh, as we get older, we don't, I don't want a cauliflower ear. <laughs> so uh, I haven't taken BJJ yet. So this is the next best thing, just doing MMA workouts. Speaking of, I need to do one today. So Les Mills Body Combat. So it's going to be up to these developers to actually update it to add legs to there. It may, they may can do it, maybe they can't, you know? Maybe they'll do a new version. Also thinking about sports games and experiences, of course, Pro Era, NFL Pro Era. That's gonna be a great game um, once we're able to get legs. We know that NFL Pro Era 2 is coming as well. So uh, hopefully uh, they knew about this. I'm not sure. I did not meet with NFL Pro Era. Actually, we had a team go out there in Atlanta, uh, but I wasn't part of that team. I was in Miami <laughs> working for Meta somewhere else in Miami. So look, I can't. It was a good experience in Miami, all right? So, hey, uh, Miami, Atlanta, NFL Pro Era, and doing what I was doing, I, I'm cool with Miami. So, had a good time in Miami. But, uh, hopefully, NFL Pro Era adds this, as well as any other sports games uh, as well. That would be great to add that. Um, you guys can let me know what other experiences or games you think would be great to have these AI 
generated legs. Now, I know what you're thinking about the Quest 2, but I have a Quest 2 and I don't plan on upgrading to a Meta Quest 3 just yet. I'm trying to wait to see the YouTube videos. Now, you know the Quest 2 is a great device and it does have, uh, but it won't have this level of body tracking. So it will be an update um, and the Quest 2 could possibly do it, but it won't be uh, not the same. It won't be the same because the Quest 3 has the sensor. Uh, the Quest Pro, uh, if, you if you're lucky enough to have one, we already know they're $1,000 now and wherever else. If someone to you know, go to Facebook Marketplace, maybe you can find one cheaper. Uh, maybe the Quest Pro as well. Uh, it'll be great to use it with, uh, but Quest 2 is not going to have the same. So if you have a Quest 2 or have multiple Quest 2s in your household and you're thinking, hey, you know, I'll just wait till the update comes and you know, I can see some legs. So it just may not move the same. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Now, should you buy a Quest 3 for legs only? No. All right. But you should get a Quest 3 if you're upgrading from a Quest 2 uh, for all the multitude of things. You know, color pass through with the Quest 3, uh, the double tap on the side of experience, just the mapping of the room itself is just totally worth it. I mean, looking at your my my watch, my Apple watch uh, through the Meta Quest 3 and seeing what time it was. Uh, and then I got a text message or I got a WhatsApp message and I was looking at it with the Quest 3 on my headset. It's pretty good. Now, look, it's not it's clear, but it's not like crystal clear. Let's be clear about that, <laughs> you know, um, but it's a game changer, man. You don't have to punch your pet anymore. You know what I mean? Like you don't have you see your wife or your daughter or your, or your son walking past you and, they, you know, they want to do something funny like, you know, put their middle finger up at you or make a silly face. Now you can see what they're doing. Um, so that's great with the MetaQuest 3. It is really a game changer and it's really a bridge for people who've been on the fence. You see what I did there uh, for VR, you know, but really this is a gateway to, to mixed reality as well. So I think that will help people. I'm already getting feedback from that or oh, well, feedback last week from Connect or well, we, previous week from Connect about just how much of a game changer it is, uh, how much they're ready to buy the Quest 3 and have it in their hands. Uh, now, I've seen a lot of things come and go in VR, and, you know, I know that this could be a game changer for Meta. Uh, the release date of just the uh, inside-out body tracking, I think, will come in November, right? That would drive sales up for the Quest 3. That will drive sales up for the accessories. <laughs> That's what you really want to sell. Now, of course, the AI generative legs will be dropping. <laughs> legs will be dropping. Uh, December, right? So probably early December, second week of December, you'll get those Christmas gift legs. Uh, so let me know in the comments below, are you excited to get those legs? Uh, are you excited for AI uh, generative legs, I should say? Are you excited for inside out? Uh, body tracking as well. I, I've seen great games, of course, like Supernatural. I would say that as well. Fitness apps really going to benefit for this. So Supernatural be great. Uh, of course, you don't really see yourself, um, but if there's a situation where, you know, when you're standing in front of him or something that you can add legs. I don't know. Um, you, you kind of have a third person view of it, but just any kind of fitness app, sports apps as well that's coming out that can use legs and other social experiences. Uh, let's just say VR pool or walkabout mini golf. Um, those as well could have AI generative legs. I don't know. Where, what, you just let me know. What else experiences you think um, that could benefit for having AI generative legs?